Jesus. Alright guys, so starting the vlog off, good morning, good afternoon, good life. So we are in the five pillars, what would you call it? Five pillars or Sor Soleil or what? Wavy V or Puke or Puke. TPLS. We are in the world of Farouk and GM and their companies, his companies, whatever you want to call it. But this is their office, it's my first time visiting here and they're showing me a tour. But this is, this is Farouk's office right here. Yeah. So this is where all the magic happens of him yelling at everybody and telling them what to do. Big computer where he probably watches all my videos. And then you know when you have like ADD, sometimes when I'm on conference calls, we'll just walk around, or I'll have meetings, I'll have like people sitting here, and I'm just walking around going like this. Got a weird shot there, buddy. All right, so over here got all the cause, and damn, I didn't even know you had all these cause. So much I'm learning about him today. Look at all this stuff, bam. That's the girl, pastel pink ball right there from Paris. Books, 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 babe, Spongebob, crap protect. You know what I'm saying right here? We got that dream crew collab out here. You gotta have it, bro. You gotta have that. We got some other stuff, but I think we'll show this a little later. Okay. But we got some... I, I we got some heat that most of you guys have probably never seen before on this channel. Um, and probably there's very few people that have them in the world, so... We'll show you guys that in a bit. I've been begging this fool to show me some of these gems for a while now, but <laughs> I've never been out here, so we're going to get a little look at it today, though. This is my closet over here. This is yours? <laughs> Compared you to the rest of the people. This cat's cute, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Why they got to do GM dirty, bro? You have a fish tank, though. Yeah, my own affair in here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you got your own uh, mini affair. Yeah, it has one fish in there. Conference room that's still under construction. We haven't really had time to... Get new furniture and stuff. These are the best basketball shoes yeah, ever made. We'll handle it. Um, only problem with these is if you're if you're, if, you're, if you're a speedy guy like me and you make a lot of cuts, these ones tore on me. Well, those but, are like ten years old. No, but yeah, but I got another pair, so it's all good. We out here. Yeah, so you calm your back. Jim, stop trying to act like you're doing something because the camera's on. Damn. You know the hat that you were wearing? Okay, so he was wearing a 916 hat yesterday. A lot of people asked him about that. It's from the people of Sacramento. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? I think we'll talk about, we'll go through all the brands in, in your bio or something. I'll get a coupon code made for all of them. Okay. If anybody wants to cop stuff, you can cop. Yeah. So a lot of people have been asking all you know, the comment, especially on Garibaldi stuff yesterday, like, yo, is this puke? This is puke. So it's essentially 10 by 10 art canvases and you can buy sets of canvases and then just like decorate, you know, your apartment, your house, your office, and you can pick on whatever you like. So if you go on pukeworldwide.com, there's like a number of sets. Like we got Jordans, Yeezys, and a bunch of other stuff. So we mix kind of pop culture and art and like combine those together. This one's sick. The Kobe one? Yeah. The oh my God. I need this one. The hell's this car doing here? This was actually my first car. Or yeah. not my, well, this car I had for the past like, was like three, four years. But me and this baby, like I remember I, I used to work graveyard shifts right after that go to school. And I used to sleep in the back of this with a white little blanket on. So, so what, you put it in here as motivation or something? Uh, no, well I let one of my friends borrow it and I think like the transmission went out. Oh, I'm dying. So it's it's set up here. as if it's like a music video. <laughs> like we about to film a fire ass music video with that. Where's the dream crew office? Room for office, uh, the bathrooms. Aside from all, like obviously the clothing brands and stuff like that that we do, this is this we kind of keep it more low key. But I mean, all like the quote unquote success or whatever we had, we always want to give back. So we have a charity called El Misba, and through there, like over the, what, the past year and a half, two years, we've been helping like refugee families resettle in Sacramento. Um, we make like kits, like home kits, bathroom kits, stuff like that. So these people, you know, obviously they're coming here with nothing. So we provide them uh, along with IRC with stuff that helps kind of set them up and kind of make them feel at home. Dude, I didn't even know you guys did this. What the hell? I don't know. Like, we keep it low key. Like, I feel like when you do good, you want to do good. Keep your intentions pure. Yeah. Um, but, you know, obviously as we're growing and stuff like that, like, and the, there's more of a need now. This, sure. is, like, this is probably like the best thing I think we've ever made, like, so far, bro. Cue intro. What's in the 
lit. This is all the extra stuff? Yeah, this is stuff like we got extra stuff or we overproduce some stuff. So we got all that chilling. So look, smell rose. So we got this section right here is all my old, like remaining stuff. This is the London hoodies. We have a few of these um, old tort. These are box, tor set, box set tees <laughs> from the tort last year. Box set tees. Um, what are these? Oh, this is the hype beast tees. We did an online pre-order with this. A few Space Jam hoodies. The camo print. We we sold these online not too long ago. And then what? Random hats. Wait, is this a Space Jam hat? Yeah. I need this. My dad took this. All right, I'll Venmo you. Yeah, just you put it on my tab. You know? <laughs> I need this though. The diet starts the diet tomorrow. The diet never actually did start, so I think we'll no, probably it's burn the rest today, of these. Because oh. I got to get ready for my engagement. So, no, um, but basically, this is what should we announce what we're gonna do now? Yeah, you can. Okay, yeah. so as you guys know, we've been doing drops every single Friday, but that's over with now because September's done. And I think the next online drop we're gonna do is gonna be on Black Friday, and it's gonna be all this stuff just laying around here because we want to get rid of all this stuff, and we're also gonna have like the wa the first wavy baby crew stuff as well. Yeah. We're gonna have that stuff. Black Friday, DreamCrew.com. Um, I don't know the exact date. It's like November twenty. 27th or 6th, something like that. But Black, Black Friday, dreamcrew.com, the craziest sale. It's gonna be, stuff's gonna be dirt cheap because we just wanna get rid of it. Have you guys wear it rather than have it sit here. So, like, like, bro, this came out last year and we have, there's only two of these. I took one, so there's gonna be only one of these on the website. There's like, there's like random stuff. Yeah, we have the black around, ones. Yeah. We have the three black ones. We have three black ones. So just like, just like stuff, like there'll be one of the, like just random stuff and they'll be like dirt cheap. Like, I don't know, 15 bucks, 10 bucks, maybe like 10 bucks or something. We just wanna get rid of them. And yeah, that's, that's what's gonna happen. All right. One to 10, how do you guys like my couch? I like the pink couch. Thumbs up, subscribe to the pink casting couch. couch. Five pillars unboxing. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna go through some of the companies that I have and then we'll make coupon codes for all those. Yeah, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll list the website, the promo code right under it, so. Okay, perfect. So, five pillars by Wheel of the Almighty. Like, Kais doesn't like to rock some of these. Some of the colors. Those, yeah, some of the colors so, I can't wait. Be real. The money sign. You got the logos, got the logos. You'll see Ahmed, aka Fire Kicks, rocking this quite a bit. <laughs> this is like it's his favorite white shirt. One. For five pillars, we're gonna do 50% off. Damn! This old stuff. That's this half off if you can't do math. That's half off. And some of the prices are already marked down, so you guys can check it out. Dream Crew Tour. Oh, we're not promoting oh, this right yeah. now. But four more cities left to get your merch. Okay, so Wave Baby, I know Kais has already done some of this, but we'll just, you know. Show it in here for the people who haven't seen. I know too much. And the back of this is 3M. Is it well. really? Yeah. Has that we got. So for Wavy Baby, we'll do 35% off. And then a lot of people were asking Kais, like the hat that he was rocking yesterday. This is probably just gonna be for people from Sacramento. Uh, down with six hats. If you're in the city, you know what this is. We got Tower Bridge. Um, so this brand is called the People of Sacramento. And then we got a few different colorways of this. So this, if you're in Sacramento, we're stocked in good Get a clue and good stocks. Um, but for this, you can copy it online, 20% off. And then let's go over the sneakers. I don't know what, what we're gonna, okay, we'll, we'll start off with some stuff probably nobody's seen. Obviously you guys know Chris Webber, he was with Data, that whole thing blew up, but he's also with Anvoy. So we got some wow. PEs. These ones weren't played in, these are brand new dead stock, but these are his pair. Let me see. Four. Chris Webber, oh my god. Size 17, I think. Size 17. Hey, this is when yeah, and one was popping though. Hello? Hold on, this is, look how big this is. Six man of the year, Bobby Jackson. So these ones were made, uh, his mom passed away, so the Sarah, these ones were made for that. You played and in these one? or no? Uh, no, these are dead stock too. And one making a comeback. Yo, the Dadas are coming back. Yeah, yeah, the, the spinners, the, the spinners right? but it's it's by Reebok. Reebok's Reebok? making it, yeah, because oh. Dada's not in business anymore. Bobby Jackson's like, no, these ones were played in there. So this one, when we had the throwback jerseys, that baby blue and the red. Yeah. Wow, well, I can't even imagine playing basketball in this. <laughs> like the technology has changed so much. One of my favorite dudes in Sacramento, Ron Artest. These were game worn. This was uh, Ron Artest, man. Yeah, the 93, he was a 93 yeah. out here. What the hell, how did he play in this? 
<laughs> there mu there's you literally no traction. Yeah, literally like the traction is like just a little bit right here. And that boy was on some big baller brand making his own shoe out here. Look at that. His logo is a defensive stance. I'm dying, bro. Okay, the last round of one. Francisco Garcia. Three box. Okay, now we can get to. Actually, I think there's a, one other pair of random ones. Not really random, but. I don't know if you have any WNBA PEs. You no, see any of those? I've never, oh, I mean, I've seen Kenny has stuff, yeah. yeah. So Ruthie Bolton. No way. The and these spinners. were the spinners, yeah. <laughs> Is this her name right there? No, uh, no, no, it doesn't have her name. These were just made for. Right. So right. these are the shoes that are coming back. If I press it, will it spin? Yeah. You see that? Oh my god, that's crazy. I never had this. This is like the colorway you see on like East Bay. Yeah, yeah. You know how they had like every color like Orange, crazy. Yeah, you can see the what like, size you can see is that? the these are what freaking That's a woman's, women's That's a men's tent. If this video gets thirty thousand thumbs up, I'll find a pair on eBay and I'll wear it to sneaker con bro. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we're gonna get to the fun stuff. Just what's written on here is interesting. Too. Oh my Mike god. Movies, game worn. Twos. People would pay Sorry. for this, bro. Signed, yeah. Because he always had his own insoles. He took those out, obviously. Let me see. This guy really got a Sacramento collection. And then... Uh, um, team Team Dime logo. Yeah, so obviously he's number 10, Team Dime. That was like his little branding. Has Harris seen this? No. no nobody has seen this. It was like the first time. Yeah. Back in the day. So it's like family stuff. So. This was his favorite shoe. The these 19s. were the 19s. Yeah. So this 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 shoe was actually made for him. And then these are obviously his PE ones. He signed these with the little purple accents. Um, you can remember some these were rare cool. stuff right these here. These were cool as hell when these came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, those guys. things. But um, you can see right here, made for Mike Bibby. One more. Here. It's a 21. Oh, 21. Oh my God. Damn. Wow. Oh, these shit. are dead stock. These ones you didn't play in, but this is the one with the replaceable uh, air. Yeah, you airplane. could either do zoom or air. Wow, I've never seen this. I don't know if the world has seen this before. Oh, those are so wet. And it has his logo on the top. Yeah, team time ten. Plus, Yo, like, this is the clean. King's colorways were clean. Like nobody else had. Yeah. This type of stuff. Quality shoe right here, bro. This like, is a. Feel the sway. Like. I've never seen anybody have this before. This might be a. You might have to post this on the gram. You'll get a lot of <laughs> a lot of accounts reposting this. I thought he was lying. You was telling me he had all these <laughs> PEs and stuff. I'm like, all right, where? Like, I never seen any pictures, but he came I out. I still have, like, I had two pair of uh, Allen Iverson game worn ones. I you should have brought that. I had to freaking sell them. I ended up selling them because I needed to make rent money really? for the shop you know, oh, back okay. in the day. GM, where's your shoe collection? It's on my feet. <laughs> yeah, shattered backboard. <laughs> Yeah, those ones are first one. Okay guys, so basically, I'm gonna be leaving the two pairs of dead stock Yeezys here at the office. Those ones and the cream ones, I'm gonna leave them here at the office. So when the pre-order stuff finally comes in, they will randomly pack one pair in two boxes. So two people will just randomly receive a pair of Yeezys and it's not gonna be based off of anyone's sizes, it's not gonna be based on how much merch you bought. If you bought something, you are automatically entered and that's it. Yeah, so basically I'm gonna get all the order numbers from when we start the pre-order to the end of the pre-orders, gather them up, have the range, and then just do a, a random number generator to pull the, the number out and then they'll give us two winners. And then when he actually puts it in the box, we're not even gonna say who won, just yeah. film yourself putting it in the box, taping it up, yeah. and then sending it away. And then everybody, when you guys receive your packages, do some people stuff, everyone's comes in boxes or no? No, so uh, t-shirts, t-shirts and hoodies, they'll, they'll come in a poly mailer. Okay. And the shoes will be in a box. So, okay. So the people will know, or yeah, the people will know if, if they yeah. want to. Okay, but basically, even if they just ordered a shirt though and they win, put yeah. it in a box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Okay, so when you guys do receive your packages, make sure you guys unbox them on camera, film with your phone or whatever, because if you end up getting a box, 
then you might have a pair of Yeezys in the box. So unbox it on camera so I can have your guys' reaction and you can send it to me, the two lucky people. And that is, yeah, maybe we'll do more giveaways when we do more online drops. We'll probably do something for Black Friday. Probably not some Yeezys because, you know, it's a getting rid of everything sale, but um, yeah, that should be good. And now we're going to leave the office because we need to go. I, like, I need a car. You know what I'm saying? We in Sacramento, I need to, you know, get my way around town. Like, I'll take anything, like something basic. You know, I think we might have some Corollas or something we can hook you up with, so we'll, we'll show you what we okay, got. Okay, I just want the most basic thing, so let's go there now, guys. All right, so this is pretty subtle. It's not too crazy. I mean, I told you, you know, we're gonna hook you up with a Corolla or a Camry, but this is all we got in stock, so. Shit, man. I mean, that one's more basic, I mean. So maybe we should just go with that, that one. That one, I mean, we got some, we got some with wings on them. Yeah. If you're trying to go with like the wing action. Hey, we got some macchiato. Mocha. Mocha, Mocha. macchiato. Yeah, this maybe one is, or yeah, this one might be good too, so. Yeah. I don't know, so many decisions here. So guys, we are right now at Diamond Auto Sports right now, looking at the cars. Fire, what you like? I like that Lambert right there. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show them the fit though. Oh, you already know I'm repping the wavy baby. I'm the next model, the next wave. driving this thing. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm not, because I don't plan to drive hella fast, but I just don't want to mess up the car, so. Fastest I've ever been in it is probably like 65. 65? Wow, that's a daredevil move right there. He said he's gonna take it easy, but he's uh, pretty uh, I don't even know how fast I'm going. <laughs> Might have to get one soon, you know what I'm saying? Before. Yo guys, all right, so we out here, Kicks Unlimited, Sacramento. They got some dope stuff. I saw this, this is the first thing I saw, because I've been looking for one of these, and I asked them how much, and my man's gifted it to me. So shout out to the homies out here. Thank you, bro, appreciate you, man, appreciate them. Uh, we're gonna look around what else they got. They got some Supreme and stuff, some babe. So these are the 11s right here that are supposed to come out at the end of the year. They're pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I'd rather get the red pair, and I'm not even that excited for the red pair, but I'll probably end up buying these regardless. <laughs> they look good. I thought they had for a minute. Yeah, that's, what, I, that's what I was thinking. I thought they had the right wrong price tag on there, but this is a custom. Comparison. Bam. So that's the real one. 18,000. I think this would be a good addi addition to your uh, warehouse. I just have just a revolving that little revolving stand. That's what you're talking about right now, right? Yeah, and that's what costs thirty-five uh, thousand. So these might be a pick. Well, these are gonna be a pickup because Farouk wore these yesterday, and I kind of like how they looked on feet. And then this one, if you're a Warriors fan, you gotta have this. This is this is freaking sick right there. And then they got the crap on deck. Like, come on now. Surprisingly, sneaker shopping in Sacramento was a success. I didn't think I'd be going home with anything. I don't even have room for this stuff, but. You can't pass on a good deal, so shout out to Kicks Unlimited. Okay, guys, we got to let him practice his vlogging because he wants to start his YouTube channel. All right, guys, not really that hard of vlog because I'm more comfortable on camera now than I was in the past. But we're at this uh, sneaker shop in Sacramento. I don't know what it's called. My bad for whoever owns the store. Guys, what I'm about to do is I'm going to start a Supreme collection. I'm about to start a lot of collections, to be honest, when I start my YouTube. I think the big thing about, like, the big thing I have to get over it is like me talking in public it's kind of weird at first because like all these people like stare at you like what the hell this guy's crazy he's holding a camera in front of him but like at the same time also imagine that like i'm not just talking to myself i'm talking to like multiple people that are watching my videos and uh that's what's gonna keep me like motivated to keep on going you feel me what is up y'all um it's been a minute since i've taken over his uh, vlog but uh yeah we really out here uh, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that came out yesterday. Shout out to everybody in Sacramento one time. Six. Um, shout out to the six. Shout out to the 916, you know, the real six side thing. But yeah, I just want to say thank you to all y'all. Guys, look, look who pulled up. Number one in line. 
the winner of the painting. He was on the way to go pick up his painting. He saw my snap that we were here, so he stopped by. So we're gonna take another flip. Damn, on the vlog, two days in a row. Two days in a row, making records out here, bro. All right, guys, so Earlier we went to Kicks Unlimited. Shout out to them, they showed love. We just had some sushi. And now Swaggadiddy's in the building. You gotta focus on the driving, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Your boy Swagga, hoodie Swagga in the building. Bay Area pop up this Saturday. You, you coming? I'm coming like it's my last name, G. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I cut that out, cut that out. <laughs> But your boy Swag came through, you know what I'm saying? He already knows about that unboxing live because he removed his address from it. <laughs> Basically, Swag, you know, your boy's birthday, not his, my birthday was last week and Swag said he got me a gift. He brought it, I'm about to unbox it for you guys, so it's only right there. He to, doesn't know what it is. I don't know, I don't know what it is. Y'all gonna cue the intro? Or? You're gonna cue, yeah, I'm gonna let you cue the intro because you're in the intro. Hey. Hit the intro. What's in the box? Wow, no way. This is a thing? I didn't even know they made this. It's a Europe, you know? Wow. Guys, this is the Life of Pablo vinyl. Uh, I didn't, I've been collecting all the Kanye vinyls and I don't have a few of them, but I didn't even know they made a Pablo one. Shout out to Swag, man. All right, guys, anyway, we just pulled up to the lounge, so we are gonna chill right now, and I will see you guys after that. All right, guys, so back in my hotel room, obviously. Basically, you know, we drove fast cars today. We went sneaker shopping. We checked out Farouk's closet. It was a full day. This vlog is probably hella long. I have no idea. I'm gonna have a long night editing it, but you know, that just comes with the grind. Again, Bay Area pop-up is this Saturday at Soul Supremacy. Phoenix pop-up is this Sunday at Ben Had Those. Both of them will be lit, so make sure you guys come. I'll see you guys tomorrow with my next video, because the next video is the next video, you know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm delirious, it's 1.30, my flight is at like 8 a.m., your boy getting no sleep. Peace.